In this video, we are going to highlight dates that are within three months of a due date. Let's make it happen. Now to do this, we are going to be selecting the dates that we want to highlight or format, and we will be using a conditional formatting rule that uses a formula. But if I click on new rule and use a formula, the experience you get here is not very good. If I wrote a formula in here, you can see that we're getting no assistance at putting this formula together and it's more difficult to troubleshoot errors. If you write a formula on the grid, you get lots of assistance in what arguments are needed and it's easier to troubleshoot those issues. So that's what we'll be doing. Now for our formula, we will be using the edate function to calculate the date three months prior to the due date. And with that knowledge in hand, we can test if today's date is within the range of the date three months prior and the due date. So let's piece this together bit by bit. If I click on E3, and I'll use this edate function, which allows us to return the date n number of months into the future or past. It needs the start date. In this example, this is the due date. Now, the due date is within a table at the moment, which is great. Tables in modern Excel is the way to go. This means if I click it, I'll get a table reference. This table is named TBL due dates. This is brilliant, but in conditional formatting, it doesn't understand those structured references. So, although there are methods to use that within an indirect function, we're going to resort to using C3, that range reference will be accepted in conditional formatting, but the formatting will still dynamically adjust with the table. So we still get those table benefits. Now I want to put in a comma here, minus three, close off that bracket, and here is the date three months prior to that date. Although it doesn't look like one at the moment, because that's the serial number, and we'd have to format it to see the date. Now if I copy that down, we'll see the results for the other cells within this table. And I'm just going to change the formatting back to general, as although it's great to see those dates, that's ultimately not what we're trying to do here. Okay, so next up, I'm going to enter that formula, and we're going to put in the expression of if today's date, today function, is greater than that date three months prior to the due date. And this will return that value of true or false. So as of today, which is the 24th of January, 2024, the 1st of November is well beyond a three month range. And if I send this down to the others, then we can see we do have a couple of trues in there. Awesome. Now, I want to add a second condition to this, that today's date must also be less than the due date. Otherwise, if a date was to expire, this rule would still run. So coming back to the formula, we're going to bring in the AND function so we can perform multiple logical tests that all must evaluate to true. So the AND function goes in, we've got our first logical test there. So on the end, a comma and the second logical test can be of today's date is less than or equal to the date in C3. So the first due date. Close off that and send it in. And as I send this down, we still have the same two values which are true. Now, the ultimate goal is not to have these trues and falses. It's just good practice to build it up on the grid to get that assistance and to diagnose any potential issues. With that information in hand, Let's go in and copy our formula 
it's control C to copy that and press enter just to abort that formula. Select the range in question, the range of dates, conditional formatting, new rule, use a formula and we'll paste in this formula which does evaluate to true as proven on the sheet. I'm now going to click my format button and I'm going to put in a fill of a red colour but I just want to make it a little bit lighter than that red. So let's go to custom and just move this arrow up a little bit and then I'll apply a white font on that. Let's come in and do a nice white font and OK in this we will have those two dates. With that done I can now happily go and remove column E as the job of that is done. I have my formatting rule and as mentioned if a new individual were to be added so if we had a Brian Andrews come in the table will expand and for the sake of this demo if I was to imagine that the third of April of this year was the due date then as I click away it does change colour. So additional rows added, benefits of the table even though we had to use the range reference of C3 for this. I hope this video was useful, please give it a thumbs up if you did and why not subscribe to this channel so you will be notified of the latest Excel tutorials to supercharge your Excel skills. Thanks for watching, take care and I will see you again soon.